What's up, what's up, what's up, family? Yeah. My, 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 my. Thanks for everybody coming through. Thanks for everybody swiping and inviting. Thank you so much for uh, all of the people watching on replay. Yes, this is I'm Coach Kair, Team Tars, representing Atlanta, Georgia. Please let me know where you're from, Zodiac, what you're representing. Right now, Mercury is in Capricorn, then it's going backwards. It's in retrograde. And I'm about to talk about three things people need, to, people can learn or are learning, really. I'm not going to talk about potentially what you can learn because nobody wants to listen to that. I'm going to tell you some strategies, what's happening. What's up, Holy Grove? Everybody, please swipe and invite so we can talk about this Mercury retrograde. What's up, Manny Panda? Positive lady, peace, peace, peace. What's going on? I am Gloria Scorpio, Sag 22nd. Ah, what city and state? Crown royalty. Yes, I need you to swipe and invite. But this is what we're going to talk about. Yeah, Team Gemini in Detroit is in the building. That's what's up. I love it. What's up, K Jules? Akima Lee's inviting her followers. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm trying to do an astrology party here in Atlanta real soon, so definitely would appreciate. 1123 is in the building. All these cuss babies, but that does not mean you are still a Sagittarius, okay? 1123, you are a Sagittarius. Team Scorpio in Orlando. Yeah. What's up, E? Taima Gems. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? She says, show is. I know. What's up, It99? Thanks, everybody, for joining. All right, we're getting ready to get into this right here. Peace, peace, peace to the family. All right, so now I got to try to see how I'm going to put this down and switch over. All right? Okay. So, bam, bam. All right, so check it out. Well, I'll clean some greens up around his ear. <laughs> can no. uh my roommate the libra you know how they are the vein is signed in the zodiac do not yes it is too there's nobody vainer than the Leo uh, than the libras no libras there's nobody more prideful there's nobody more prideful than the leos right even crown royalty said nobody so um I'm, Oh, I got this covered because it's got a tripod on it. I just got in here to move around. Watch me now. Oh, you gonna you gonna clean these? Ooh, she's so lovely. I'm gonna keep off of camera too, just because <laughs> that's what she wants. She, I'm getting put out of the kitchen. You see, look, look, I'm reversing. Y'all see that? I'm reversing. Look how I reversed. She said, "You go do that." Bam. All right, so check. I get to sit down then. Oh, what a wonderful woman she is, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. So, what are what are some lessons that people are learning during Mercury Retrograde? The people who got it the worst are the hard-headed people. <laughs> the hard-headed people got it the worst. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, MJ Merlo? Mercury Retrograde is all about when Mercury is like, he seems to be moving backwards. And it started on December the 19th. It got really intense on, um, it got really intense on July the 5th, I mean, January the 5th, which is what all the so-called quote-unquote astrologers, what they say on Instagram and all this. And then they think it's over on the 26th, but it's not. It's not over on the 26th. That's like the most intense, intense day. So I have to put this down so I can do this um, do this description with my hands y'all know how I am when I like to talk with my hands right don't want to drop that alright so check it out let's say you have a slingshot right and on February on January the 5th see most things go forward like a, like a projectile right What's up, what's up, what's up? Nothing but greatness coming your way soon. So in retrograde, it goes back like a slingshot. So you're pulling things back all the way till it gets back to the tightest part. Then you let go, right? So January 5th was when it started getting pulled back. So today's only the 12th. 
So we're like right here. It's got to go all the way back to the 26th. So how many of y'all have felt some things being tight on you or some things that uh, have been going in reverse? You had to repeat yourself. You had to reiterate. You had to rethink. You had to revisit. Anything start with the letters R-E since uh, Xanadu says it's been going down since January the 5th. I just want to get this from January 5th for one week in the last seven days has some faux real stuff come. Please press one. If something for real has happened that you that will make you say this is some BS, please press one. Right. Now, if something has happened where somebody said, oh, this is because of Mercury retrograde and you was like, man, it's getting on my nerves. Why, retro, why Mercury retrograde got to be so crazy? Press five. Type in five if you said something like, oh, man, Mercury retrograde. Or you heard somebody say something about Mercury retrograde, kind of like in the negative since in the last five days. Oh, yeah, all types of people will be running back into your life, right? So everybody's making all these excuses and stuff about, you know, why they're doing, you know, why certain things are happening in their life and stuff like that. Right. So all these fives, right? Um... All these fives, you know, people are saying Mercury retrograde. You seeing things on Instagram? Just be cool. It's Mercury retrograde season, whatever, right? So, uh, and you can tell them politely to shut the hell up. So this is what you're learning right here. What's one of the things? But three things. You're learning that you don't know nature, and that's the problem. You need to know when the retrograde is coming. Just like a woman's cycle. I keep telling everybody it's the best example. Would you get mad at a woman for coming on her cycle and she do it every month? That's 12 times a year. Mercury retrograde only comes around three times. I want to know when my woman's cycle is coming. She want to know when she's coming. Women schedule around their cycle. You should schedule around Mercury retrograde. Just that simple. Now, when it's getting tense, you got time to go back and revisit and rethink things. But the hard-headed, so the number, one, the number two thing is you're going to see who's really hard-headed and who don't have patience. Yes, because they're getting peeled to the white meat. And like my shirt says, Big Shouts, you got to think like a king. What are you thinking like a king? You got to think like a king. You should always be thinking like a king. They got to think like a queen shirt too. But you got to be on top of the situation right about now. Yes, Peel to the white meat. Uh, what are we supposed to do when we are forced to resist things that happen before adulthood? Revisit things. You're supposed to deal with them because retrograde, here's another. Here's the third thing that's happening. I was told to never make any serious decisions during a retrograde. Didn't an astrologer tell you that? I'm getting ready to tell you, Xanadu, but the other person, when somebody, you keep saying they, Stop telling me that somebody told you. What's their name? And are they an astrologer? If they're not an astrologer, then why are you listening to them? They're telling you, like, I'm not a plumber and I tell you about plumbing. Why should you listen to me? Like, I get down. Okay, then that's not true. You should make some very serious decisions during Mercury Retrograde about your life and about how you're going to change because Mercury is about change. So the three, third thing you're learning is to change the way you've been doing things. You have to revisit it so you can change the way you've been doing it. Let's go to uh, Jewel on the Lotus, page 58, when somebody irritates you. Because, see, most people have the strategy when things irritate you, even from your childhood, you run from it. But since you don't deal with it, guess what? It keeps on coming up. It keeps on coming up because you don't want to deal with it. And then it gets more and more crazy. That's why you losing. Or it's hurting. I don't know. You want, I, I don't want to. I say it's painful. I don't want to say you're losing. But it's definitely painful. The track shoe method. Because all you're doing is fat, running fast into some other BS. In the very next relationship or the very next stuff. Not just own it and face up to it, but overcome it. And that's what Mercury Retrograde gives you a chance to repeat that. But repeat it with a new, yeah, especially family, especially family. Jewel in the Lotus, third edition. What's that say? Higher consciousness. 
Bam. It's not useless. Running, yeah, running is useless. Yes, I, that's probably what you meant. Let's go to page 58. This is the last page of the second chapter. Yes. When someone irritates you, I mean, y'all have people been irritating you? This is a Mercury retrograde. Oh, and this is going to be lasting until February the 12th, right, right, right before Valentine's Day. It's going to be the most intense all the way back to the 26th. And then it's going to start going forward when it goes this way. And this is the other example I wanted to give. One of these could be your rock. So I'm going to use Xanadu for example because that's my people. If you got this big issue that keeps coming up in the past every time a retrograde comes and you're, be, and you're pulling this rock back like this and you're not doing anything to loose, make this small, you keep running from it, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. So I keep pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. This is a huge rock. Huge. But right now when it's like seven days in, if I start dealing with this, it'll only be a small rock. Like a pebble when I pull back. So every day, you this is an opportunity. You will learn during a Mercury retrograde that you have an opportunity to revisit something and change the outcome. Yes, and stop getting the same outcome. Let's go back to the text. When someone irritates you, it is probably because you see in them a, a you see in them a part of yourself that you don't like. You refuse to see that quality in yourself and don't like what you see in it from someone else. B, the way he or she mistreats you mirrors the way you mistreat yourself. C, he or she reminds you of some grievance you are attached to, someone you haven't forgotten, some limitation you haven't made peace with. Hmm. D, he or she won't allow you to twist the truth the way you usually do, won't fall for your games, won't support your favorite delusion, won't ignore the obvious. Any disturbing situation can be turned to your advantage or waste it. You can either look inward and see what buried fear or hurt or anger has been reactivated See what has been reactivated and bring it to the surface. You can use a unique, unique way. Or you can look outward and blame someone for misusing you. Either you learn and grow from the situation or you miss the opportunity. There you go. You said you, said you wait on the one that applies to you. Either you learn and grow from the situation or you miss the opportunity. Then the cosmos, listen to this sentence, has to go to the trouble of setting the situation up again and again until you finally see it. When you realize that someone is causing you distress, Xanadu, be grateful to that person for he or she is your teacher. By being exactly the way he or she is, he or she has pushed a button in your subconscious. Now that button can become conscious and you are one step closer to freedom. I have read from the Bible. I know you're going to mess around and punch him in the eye. That's okay. Maybe that's her karma. Okay? Right. But And during a Mercury retrograde, we kind of make snap decisions, and we'd be like, oh, my God, I was, I was texting. I didn't mean to hit that button. You know what I'm saying? And you do something by accident, or you say something, but you mentally typed it. You mentally typed punch someone in the eye. That's texting. That's ex Mercury is texting. Mercury is communicating. Mercury is your phone. Like when you break the when you break the screen on there, that's Mercury retrograde. Miscommunicate with somebody. Misunderstand someone. Xanadu's being misunderstood, everyone. I definitely get misunderstood. I type like two, three times, then I say call me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I had a good example today to revisit because someone was talking about how wise I was. And they called me to give them a solution. And I was like, I got to redo how I be doing. 
I can't just be giving, you know, I, yes, I, I'm on Periscope giving away solutions, but for you to call me one-on-one -on -one and for me to solve your problem, I can't keep doing that for free. No. And I was like, you're going to have to put some coins in the bucket. I remade myself, too, in a Mercury retrograde. I remade myself. Now, if they had, if it's teamwork, some exchange or something like that, for instance, there's some people on this uh, watching this recording that are on my team and you call them in it's something that we already working on that's fine if I talk to you you know what I'm saying every now and then but I'm talking about this person I ain't talked to like they come in with some I, I, I don't know what they're doing in their life or nothing it was like you're the only person who can solve this and I was like what? right and their situation was somebody was talking about them at the job and they got in trouble because of the way that they were praying but they were being uh, what do you call that? Passive aggressive. They were being passive aggressive in, you know, they're mad because they don't like white Jesus and Christians. So the Christians are doing their prayer the way they do it. So every day somebody leads a prayer and it's all Christians. So she got up and said her prayer and then talked about the great moon and the energy of the full moon and all this other kind of stuff. So the other lady, this a European woman, went to the supervisor of the sister, the African American sister, and was like, she disrespected us, and so and so and so and so. And so the African American sister had to go and apologize to the European woman, apologize to everybody who heard the prayer, and now she got to go and apologize to the people who own the company who weren't even there. Communications jacked up. Exactly. All because she didn't want to say another prayer. It doesn't mean that she's wrong. I got Jesus' prayers on deck. If I look around the room and see that it's a hostile environment, I'm going to come up there and be like, all praise due to Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. No, 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 no. I'm going to be on some. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to be on some. I got to move over. I'm going to be on some. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be using the word amen. All of that. I'm going to be like God Almighty. I might use the word prophets or something like that. But I don't have to be offensive with my spirituality because in like that, that's tit for tat. When you're being tit for tat with somebody because they're being childish with their spirituality. Who's going to be the bigger person first? I said it. Who's going to be the bigger person first? In a Mercury retrograde, you have the opportunity to be the bigger person. I know nobody wants to talk. If you, somebody, can I get an amen? Press one. One is for amen around here. One is for amen. Two is for shut the hell up. Yep. One is for amen. Two is for shut the hell up. I like getting hearts, but I'm just looking for some ones. Okay. So, um... I know, I know, I know. A couple people say shut the hell up too. Works both ways. I feel you. So, um, no, you ascend past where they're at. You don't have to lower your level. You go back and retreat into yourself, reevaluate how you got into this situation, and then rotate. Ooh, rotate. Reevaluate, rotate, and then roll out. Some of y'all, this is an opportune time to make a short move too. Make a little short move decision because um, this is where uh, this is where you move. Make a small trip. Mercury, Mercury in retrograde governs small trips, so make sure you uh, the uh, seat belt is on. Make sure your insurance is paid. Uh, Drive defensively and leave early. Listen to what I said. Leave early. Drive defensively. Oh, I guess number five. Right. If you had the money to go to Zimbabwe, you'd already move down the street from whatever the situation is where you at. I know you you want to go to Zimbabwe. You only need to move somewhere just to get your own space. That's it. And get them people out your place, out your face, place and face. Um, resistance is futile. Everybody type that in there because some of y'all want to resist what I'm trying to. You say I'm dropping jewels, but you still resisting. 
Right. Resistance is futile. You have to deal with it or the cosmos has to go through the trouble of setting it up for you again. Y'all must have thought I was making that up or something. Why would y'all think that I'm making that up? Here. There's the words right there. See? Right. Right up in here, the word cosmos. Yep. See? It says, then the cosmos. Then the cosmos has to go to the trouble. Look at that word. Why do you want to make the universe go through the trouble? Now, I went through this last three retrogrades. I learned this time. Go, Carol. Carol, listen. Ooh, Carol. Sometimes it takes about three retrogrades of getting peeled to the white meat for you to listen. Now, this is my last example. Then I got to go because I want to talk about wealth. So I'm going to start another uh, Mercury retrograde lesson around wealth while I eat some potato chips. Um, shouts out. That's why I had short hair. Brother Jabril Kazan. Right. You don't know who this guy is. Ooh, a legend. A legend. Right. The name of this book is Jewel in the Lotus, The Tantric Path to Higher Consciousness. J.J. My teacher wrote it, Sunyata Saraswati. And the God is right. Right there. Pat out. So, um, that's his name right there on the bottom. No, I didn't get the book, and he wasn't my teacher because I got the book. Right, let's get the wealth thing together. So, Mercury retrograde is like a NASCAR race, and you in the back. There's going to be a wreck in front of you. You slow your car down, get on your bicycle, and pick your way through. Or even take a back street, and then get back on the course. Don't try to force your way. Everybody write, I will not try to force it. I will not try to force it between now and the 12th of February. Type that. I will not try to force anything between now and February the 14th. Who said you had to listen? If, there, if somebody else, Remember, everybody's not watching this periscope. Right. You change what you're doing by listening to wisdom. You change who you, you change to, you change what is coming to you in the situations by what you realize. Yo, don't worry about what, um, don't worry about other, what other people are doing. Too many of y'all got high blood pressure because you're worrying about what other people are doing. I have a video on YouTube called How to Control Your Hearing. Oh, shucks, no. We're picking the camera up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of y'all know how to control your hearing. You think that because it's giving you a chance to reevaluate the people that you listen to. What's up, Ori Oasis? So go over here, and all you got to do is type in uh, Kair and hear. Kair and control, Kair, control hearing, something like that. So I'm going to type it in. Bam. K-H-A-Y-R hearing. First video at the top. Coach Kair. Hold it. Look at the title. You ha How to have better relationships by controlling your hearing. How to have better relationships by controlling your hearing. You got to control your hearing. This is eleven. This is 11 minute class. Come on and get it. Zoom in to tune in. I ain't going to play it now. You can find it. There you go. Very good at it. Ah, see the thing? Look at my shirt. What does it say? Selective listening. See that? Selective listening. Y'all don't know how to be a selective listener. 
paying somebody too much attention. You're giving, you're giving somebody too much grace. Why? They're not paying you. They ain't got no wisdom. Why are you listening to them? Sign on. So, those are my tips for three or four things you can learn during the Mercury retrograde. Let me go get some chips right quick. Oh, I got a client in 12 minutes. It's going to be later on. It's going to be about an hour and 15 minutes. Okay? So, Femme fat, fem and Fancy, what's going on? Thank you for joining. I appreciate y'all. Please keep swiping and inviting. Thank you for the hearts. One day I'm going to have a thousand people, uh, friends. I ain't got followers. I love to have a thousand people. Um, I think I may do like a push or something. Why not? You know, I, I want to have a thousand friends on Periscope. That's what we're going to push one day, right? And because um, I want to make an effective change. Because how does Mercury retrograde affect legal matters? It affects every matter. Anything that's got something to do with communications, but definitely it affects co what is a contract? That's a communication between two parties. So there's a delay. Misunderstandings are possible. Delays are possible. Misunderstandings are possible. Our letters in the building. Hey. As a juror, you probably want to ask questions and be like, can you please say that again? The conversation is not clear. Just imagine you're underwater and somebody's sitting on the edge of the pool and you're trying to talk. And even the water is just like right here. And you're shouting. That person can't understand what you're saying? Nah. The person can't understand it. So hit the YouTube video. They can holler at me. <laughs> yeah, so that's the lesson right there. So next, my, my next video is going to be talking about this lottery and the lesson that this lottery is teaching us. So please follow. Please friend me. Please request me. If you see me on uh, Facebook, though, you got to tell me that you know me from uh, Periscope. I just don't say, hey, come on in, to everybody. That's it. You ain't speak, I don't know you. All right, Mahalo.